Okay, we're going to start making some reproductions now. That this particular application is one that I prefer. Uh, it's not a very expensive application, but it does what I want it to do. Now there are some free ones on the internet. Uh, you can go search them out. Uh, one of them is Picasa 3. I think Google puts that out. Uh, now I told you earlier about the printer. They make printers uh, and, and there's different manufacturers all around uh, with uh, different types of printers and different sizes. I, I don't use anything bigger than a standard sheet of paper. I'm really not into reproductions that much, but they do make a printer where you can buy printer paper for it that will print 13 by 17 inch uh, pictures, uh, your reproductions. You, you can also get the, the legal size ones and, and print on that also. Uh, now what you need to remember about your printer is that you need to get one that prints photographs. And, and I recommend that the paper you can get, and, and you can get it in 13 by 17, is a matte uh, photo uh, grade paper. Uh, and the reason why you want a printer that does photos almost exclusively is because of the ink. The ink is light fast. If you use the other printers uh, to make reproductions, uh, you're, you're probably going to get a lot of fading. They're going to fade out. Now, if, if your prints, if your reproductions are in high demand, uh, you probably want to go to a professional printer and have your reproductions made there. They can run out four or five hundred of them. At a, at a not too expensive price. I typically just run out a few for festivals and for friends and stuff. Remember now we put this picture in art and and uh, let's take a look at it before I move it over and there it is and, and I'm going to bring it into this application and uh, and here it is and you, and you can pretty much see the size of this thing in inches. It runs all the way out to 30 something inches and uh, down to 22 of course. Now I need to resize it onto an 8x10. This particular application has a feature on it called resize. And I'll go resize this down to something close to an 8x10. Uh, right okay. 11. And, and as you can see, this is 7 something so I'm going to come up here and it's 8 by 10 and 3 eighths uh, so I'm going to have to be shaving off an inch on, on one of these sides uh, over here and the resolution typically 200 is fine you can get up to you know 250 or around but really you don't get much uh, uh, as far as printing goes for any more than about 250 or thereabouts Okay, now this thing is going to resize to almost an 8 by 10. And, and as you can see, it's 8 tall, 10 here. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to crop this thing to an 8 by 10. And there's 10 inches right there. Let's move this down. Now that crop doesn't look too good, so I'm going to move it over as much as I can and keep it in there. And I can probably get away cropping it with this. Now remember, this is just simply for reproductions. Uh, if I was to uh, send this off uh, for a contest or something, I wouldn't crop it. You, you really can't crop it. And you can also, depending on your printer, print it as is and your printer program will scale it down if you say put the whole image on the paper we'll do it but we're going to do this 8 by 10 now I'm going to go ahead and crop it okay with this particular application I have the ability to remove digital camera noise I will do that and you'll see it so to sharpen up a little bit and clear up. Uh, this is, you know, this image now 
is not as sharp as 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 the original one. Okay, that's it. The digital noise removed. Now here's another aspect of this, in which it is on is color balance. That's what I was telling you about keeping your eye, uh, light even across there. Uh, this will help balance the light uh, uh, throughout the picture, meaning it sort of levels it out. And, and it did that. You, you saw no appreciable change there. Now the next one is color. And what that does is it takes care of the fade correction, as they call it. And you can see it got a little bit brighter. Uh, that's fine. I'm still uh, working well with it. And, and I'm going to save this now. Uh, that's all I'm going to do to it. And, and we're going to save as. And I never save it back as the original. I'm going to come down here and suggest it. I'm going to make it adjust to. So I still got my saved image, ADJ. And now I have ADJ saved. Okay, it's saved. Uh, now now here's, here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to print this out since I'm making it for an 8x10. Okay, I've opened up my... Uh, templates here and I'm going to go down here to standard sizes. I'm going to pick an 8x10. I say, I say OK. I'll go up here to file. i got to set up my printer. Alright, I'll go to the properties. I'm not going to use plain paper. I'm going to use other photo papers down here. Print quality's best. I want a landscape. 11 by 8 and a half inches. Printed actual size. Say OK. Close it. Put my image over there in it. I go up here, fill the cell with the image. Now I'm going to go ahead and print this thing out. Uh, this is my very old computer. I keep uh, my very old uh, applications on here, and I use it primarily to make note cards and business cards with. I wanted to bring up Picasa 3 real quick, like, uh, and let you see what it looks like. And now I'm going to shut it down and. Uh, Go ahead and make note cards. Uh, this is Picasa 3. And and this is a lot of my art that's already on there. And uh, and as you can see, let me see what they have up here in the line of tools. Let's let's just pick one. Let's pick this flower here. And you can see you can crop it, straighten it, remove red eye, auto color, auto contrast, text. You can tune it, fill light. You can do all kinds of things with it if you want to mess with it. Uh, and they got all kinds of tools and stuff. This is free. You can get it on the web. Now I'm going to use the uh, other application that I use to make cards with, and we'll come right back. Uh, I've launched my application, and uh, you can see that uh, I already have taken a template, and I made this template up. I don't use the uh, standard card format. It doesn't work. It's usually you got to fold it up and all the rest of that. With this I took what they call the poster uh, which is really eight and a half by eleven inch sheet of paper and I drew lines across it uh, using the cursor key and using hyphens and I did it this way to the proportions of a note card all right, which is really about five and a half inches wide and, and then I come down here and it's like almost uh, eight and a little over maybe eight and a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. And I put a line exactly in the middle. All right, that's my template. I also pre-filled out all the title and stuff. And this is going to be the back of the card. Now what I do is I'll put the picture here in the front on the bottom part. And, and then I'll remove this line here. All this is for is line up. And then I'll print it out. And what these lines do here is act as guidelines for when I cut it. So uh, now I'm going to go uh, pull the picture here. Okay, I'm going to open up uh, the uh, picture that we had before. I brought it over on a flash drive and plugged it in. 
uh, so I can import it uh, here. Now, now this is it. Now notice with this application, I can adjust the height and and uh, and the width. As as I told you earlier, this the sizing is important. We're we're probably going to have to cut this down quite a bit for uh, for a note card, and that's part of the reason why I put the guidelines in there. Uh, when when uh, when I trim this thing. It's uh, it's going to cut it down. It's like cropping it manually across here. Uh, I'm just going to bring it over. Just okay. Now I want to end this uh, with one more time uh, to tell you that prints are art, and this what we just got finished doing is a reproduction of art. I want I wanted to show it to you next to the painting itself. You notice how the computer changed the colors and, and made it more vivid and everything? And, and that's okay for a reproduction. Uh, but you got to make sure you know, that, that this doesn't occur when you send it in for contest. This is my 8x10. You can make bigger ones. You get a bigger printer. Uh, you make 13x17s. You can make legal size 11 uh, x 14 and do that. I, I also printed out a couple of 5x7s. Uh, which I usually use for my portfolio. Um, I use one of them, put it away. And and one other thing, uh, I did I did the uh, note card. Uh, you can do lots of things. I want to show you the note card. It's a nice simple note card. And and this is the back where I put all my information and my marketing stuff. Uh, this is a good way of getting yourself out there. It's you know it's. It can be fun, and and uh, you can make like with this eight by ten. You can put a mat on it, put it in the frame. It's going to look pretty good. I'd probably put a red mat around it with maybe a yellow frame or something. You can do this. Uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, you don't have to put up and and with a lot of people, a lot of printers, and a lot of other people. Trying to tell you, you've got to print out 500 reproductions or, or give you and control how much you want to do. You can print out as many reproductions as you want, take them to festivals, hang them somewhere, uh, and, and go ahead and market yourself. Uh, with that, uh, I'm going to finish and, and, and say best of luck, best of painting. You can do this. You can be an individual artist.